Good afternoon, everyone. We have left the Ajo Valley and traveled almost 150 miles eastward. We are now at more than 7,000 feet elevation in the Catalina Mountains, visiting an area where hopefully we can take one last chance to locate Arizona black rattlesnakes. Fingers crossed. So I don't know what kind they are yet, but there's a bunch of frogs in the pool here. Ooh, dark guys. I'm not sure yet, but I might be able to get a hold of one since there's so little space in the pool. Let's see here. be able to. This is deep. Unfortunately, I think they're bullfrogs. Invasives. I'll have to double check. So this is a first for me. That is a canyon tree frog, Hyla arenicolor. Widespread throughout the southwest, from uh, southwest Colorado and Utah, down through New Mexico, Arizona, parts of California, and much of Texas as well. Contrary to the name, they don't often live around trees, but instead they like to live on the rocks in and around intermittent pools in uh, high mountain canyons. Where they'll hide out in cracks most of the time. But we got one out in the open here, so that's really cool. So we'll get a couple of photos and then we'll leave him right where he is. I'll preface by saying here I got really lucky too. I was not the one that spotted this. Rather there was a uh, another guy up there who was leading his uh, kids around through the canyon and they actually spotted the frog first. Got to sit down and talk to them about this little guy for a little while as well as a few other animals they would see later. They kind of followed me around for a bit so we got to talk about uh, wildlife. But these guys really are often hard to find because they love to hide in deep cracks and of course they look like a piece of the rock broke off and jumped away. We managed to get him to perch on the finger here. There we go, there's the camera focusing. That's how they'll sit in a hiding place when they hope you don't see them. He's just kind of chilling with us now. Beautiful car creature though. The moisture seems to be doing something good. We got a newly hatched little scoloporous lizard here. I'll double check which species and put it up for you. But this guy was probably hatched in the past couple of months. He is so tiny. Very dark, huge head, so cute. And right here is the bigger version of the plateau lizard. No stripe down the back like a lot of other species, but you got the stripes on either side. Fairly ashy gray otherwise. Hanging out on the side of a log. He'll dive into the hole next to him if I get any closer, so we'll leave him right there. This guy was doing push-ups a second ago. So as I walk along the lake's edge here, we have bullfrogs galore jumping into the lake. Tried catching a couple, but it hasn't turned out just yet. Although up in here I might. And there you go, your ever omnipresent invasive bullfrog at 7,000 feet up in the mountains. Only here because people brought them here and a serious problem for all the native leopard frogs, canyon tree frogs, and anything else that might be swimming in the water. 
unfortunately there's so many of them. No point in me trying to do anything really about it. So we'll just put this guy back right where he was. And there he goes. And there are just bullfrog tadpoles around every inch of this lake. I need something up here that will eat them all. You'd have the tadpole is so much bigger than the young frog, huh? Should convince the rattlesnakes that tadpoles are good food. How's this for an unexpected sighting? What are you doing down there, dude? Getting all wet. I'm gonna guess the Coopers. With those tail feathers, but. Or a young red tail, actually. I'm going with the young red tail. That's interesting. He's up in the tree now. He's getting blown around by the wind, and I take back what I said. It is a Coopers. Look at that. Here's an alligator lizard in here. Look at that. He's a different color. Not quite as complete a tail, but pretty cool. Hold on, girl. Dude. Hold on, dude. Well, it's not a snake yet. We've got a second alligator lizard. He's missing the little end part of his tail there. From a different mountain range. It's a bit of a different color, too. More browns and less reds. And he's also been a lot more apt to try and bite than the other one was. It's still cool nonetheless. He's about the same size otherwise, though. Anyway, we're going to get a couple more photos and then put him back before he uh, puts any more poop on me. Alright, dude. I'm sure I bothered you enough now. Ready? There you go. Off under the... Go on, sir. Off under the rock there. Damn. That is cool, though. There he is. another alligator lizard who's missing almost his entire tail and has different color again. Look at that. Cool. Well, the snakes might not be playing ball, but the gator lizards are definitely out in force. Look at this guy. An interesting pattern on this one. Broken bars and everything. And he's missing almost his entire tail, just a little short stubby thing that's grown back. That's cool. Alright, we'll put him back in his log pile in a sec here. Alright, sir. Here you go. Ready? Or not. There he goes. Oop. Got what I think is Abert's squirrel over here. Those long pointy ears. Double check. There he goes. 
And we got one of the different spiny species. I always forget who's got the full collar like that. Don't know if the mountain spiny comes up here or if this is like Clark's, but we'll double check and put it up. Pretty guy though. So no Serbs, but we're taking a short drive here up along the Madera Canyon as evening sets in. This is a very exotic looking environment compared to uh, just about everywhere else we've been. Fingers crossed it'll bring something cool out though. So not exactly what you want greeting you right above the uh, restroom stall. It looks almost like a huntsman spider. It's quite large. Just briefly here there's a mantis running across the road. This is probably one of the native stagmomantis species, which is cool. We're just gonna move him out of the way. Come here, sir. Come on. That is not a place for you. There we go. Oh, it's not it's not much, but it's a familiar friend. Another Sonoran desert toad. Who needs to get off the road, sir? There you go. Off the road. And away he goes. Go a little further. There we go. So first life snake of the night. Is it? Found with uh, somebody else coming across the road too. That's a beautiful yeah. one. He knows I'm here. He's wondering what I'm doing. But we'll just leave him be where he is. Since he's decided to stop what so we can that? see him. What is that? Beautiful snake. It's a western diamond. Hey. And he's alive this time. Baby diamond back. All right. All right, second live snake of the night is a baby diamond back. It's apparently that season. And if you listen closely, you can hear the coyotes in the background too. Anyway, since these guys are really common, we'll just get him across the road. Apparently my Keys like to lock the car on me. Come on, sir. Oh, almost there. Come on. No, don't, don't bite at the hook. You want to get off the road? Come on. There go the coyotes. He's trying to rattle, but he doesn't even have a proper second button yet. Come on, sir. Off the road. Off the road. There you go. Now he's safe. No, no, you keep going that way. Keep going that way. Come on, keep going that way. Come on. No, 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 you want to go that way. Okay. There we go. Now he's safe. That's a big guy. Big old diamond back. No, 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 don't. There's a car coming, so we don't want them to hit you, okay? Yeah, you should go off back into there. There we go. You're much safer over there. And yet another baby diamondback. This guy is incredibly minuscule. Look, he's so small. All right, we're gonna get him off the road. And yet another who we're gonna chase right off the road. Especially because I thought I saw... Yep, there's another one right there. All right, sir, come on, let's cross the road. Come on. Yeah, I know, I'm touching you. We want to get you off the road though, okay? Come on. You guys don't really make this easy, do you? Come on, there's cars coming up this way. A few too many for as empty as this place is. Come on, sir. Ugh. 
All right, there we go. Now he's in a bush. Go, go. All right, here's yet another baby. And this time we're going to uh, use the tongs because that's a whole lot easier. If I can get under him, there we go. He was pointing in this direction, so we'll just... Yeah, that's a whole lot better. You go that way, sir. All right, the number of baby diamondbacks out here is just kind of ridiculous at this point. There he goes. There's a coral. Oh, that's a good size one too. Wow. Oh my God. We've got a coral snake who's raising up his tail as a defensive strategy. They, they'll probably do it if I touch him and we might have to, to move him across the road, but they will also fart in defense. Something a lot of people don't know about these guys. Would you look at that gorgeous animal though. Absolutely beautiful colors. Wow. Unfortunately, every day there had to be something that would go wrong with the camera, and it was when I was filming this guy that that happened. So that little clip was actually off my iPhone, not the good camera. It's always got to be something. However, we did get a couple of beautiful photos of this guy, and if you want to learn more about these amazing snakes, go back to uh, my... Uh, cacti, crown lizards, and corals a video from back in April when I found my first one over in the Ajo Valley. Uh, a much bigger snake than this guy, but this one was definitely prettier. And also, earlier I mentioned uh, in the video here how these guys fart in defense. Listen very closely as we try and get him off the road here and you will hear exactly that. The direction, so we're just gonna help him out here. Oh, did you hear that? He's farting. Sir, or maybe he's safer over there. He's still farting. Okay, that was awesome. Another lucky little diamond back who nearly got hit by the sheriff. Not developing a very good opinion of the sheriff's around here, I must say. Go, go, sir. Come on. A little bit different, we got a baby Mojave here who is booking it off the road in the direction that he was coming. We'll see if we can get him moved the other direction, though. Very similar to uh, um, the Diamondbacks. The pattern is slightly different, particularly on the tail. You'd have to look close for the other details, though. Anyway, we're just gonna get him helped across. I've definitely lost count tonight how many of these guys we have found. He's a big baby. It's funny how this guy, <laughs> despite their fearsome reputation, he's just kind of quietly sitting on the tongs, as long as I don't really hurt him or anything. The one Mojave was much more defensive. I think we have here what I can say is an appropriately gigantic toad. Still not even the biggest one that I've actually seen tonight, just the first one that I've bothered stopping for. Look at the size of him. He is huge and he's running away. Bye bye. Slightly different friend out here. This is a red spotted toad who is now peeing on me. They've got those really big rounded parotid glands right behind their heads. Their heads are kind of odd and flat looking. I hear a great horned owl in the background somewhere. And of course they have those red spots, hence the name. Anyway, we're just gonna let him be on his way. Now you stay off the road, sir. No, I said off the road. Thank you. Well, I guess when nothing else is moving, 
Count on all the baby diamondbacks again. Come here, sir, there's a car coming. Whoops. Off the road. Off the road, sir. We don't want you getting hit by those people, see? There. Now away you go. Because I've seen enough dead snakes tonight already. Well, missed the last Mojave. We've got a very, very chunky little diamond back here. He's crossing the road, so we'll just help him out. Don't know why he's heading this way, but I hope he knows. There you go, sir. Shoo shoo. And another. Hello, little sir. Got a pretty little diamond back. All right, come on. Let's go a little bit faster than you're going, okay? I know, I know. They're gonna freak out. Let's get you over here. Ugh, there you go. Go that way. Okay, go that way. Well, well. There's a king snake. Come here, sir. Come here. There's a live king snake. So clearly we are down within pure desert king range at this point. I guess I'd have to be up further north to get anything different. There is some evidence, perhaps, of influence from the California King in him, but mostly this looks like pure desert. Gorgeous young animal, and really nice to see this after having seen the one that had just gotten hit by the fool who passed me earlier. But we'll get a couple more photos and then get him off the road. At this point, I can pretty well say that desert king snakes are old friends, although I'm still hoping I can find their close relatives nearby the California kings soon. These guys are gorgeous, though, and they do go through a bit of a color change as they grow up. Uh, especially down here, these guys will get a little bit darker owing to the Mexican black king influence that comes up from the south. Although they keep those really bright uh, bands right across the back oftentimes and that lighter shade along the sides. All right, sir. Here. Go off that way. No, go go that way. Go that way. That means go that direction. There we go. Okay. And yet again, another little diamond back. I get the feeling it's been like 20 of these guys tonight. There you go, sir. Off you go into the bush. All right, a slightly bigger Diamondback this time. Nicely colored, too, honestly. Beautiful snake. Yeah, yeah, I see you're grumpy. Don't worry, we won't bother you too much. We just want you off the uh, road, okay? So, come on. Yeah, I know, I touched you. Yeah, that's a hook. Come on, let's get off the road. Get off the road. Come on. No, that's the wrong way. You were heading this way anyway. Come on. You are very beautiful, though. Look at that. Well, that's a little further. Let's go a little bit more than that. No, that, that way, come on. Yeah. You are just not cooperative, are you? There, yeah, go that way. Sure, rattle after the fact. It's a long nose, all right. Hey you. Finally adding a little more variety to the night. This is a beautiful young long nose snake who I'm gonna have to get some photos from the phone. 
because uh, this doesn't show it very well. He's got some great reds on him in between, whoops, the black. And he's got a small meal in him too, which is a good sign. Must have picked up a lizard somewhere. Gorgeous little king snake relatives. Basically as close as I'm going to get to a cow king down here. That beautiful red and you notice again that red is in between like the white bands. So one of the snakes out here that is a pretty decent uh, mimic potentially of the coral snake and a good reason why you should never use that stupid rhyme. He really likes my uh, camera cords here. <laughs> One second, dude. All right, we're gonna get a couple of photos on the phone for better color and then let him go. All right, sir, as the car comes, let's get you off that way. There he goes. Well, folks, I think the long nose was the last thing. If not, you'll see an insert here. But other than that, um, it's been a pretty busy night. Slow day, but Pretty good night. Uh, no new faces really other than the canyon tree frog earlier, but some great animals nonetheless. Uh, certainly the best night so far on the trip. Now, I worry that where we'll be tomorrow is gonna be fairly dry again, but fingers crossed that we'll still pull off a few cool animals. Whoop, guess what? It's not over. One second. Yep, no surprise. One more tiny little diamondback trying to cross the road. So we'll just grab him. Whoa. Okay, he's being a little floppier than usual. One second. Perhaps we can... Uh... Uh, no, we don't want to grab you there. Will you go on your own? No, 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 no. The other way. You were going this way. All right, we're going to do that. There we go. Cross the road, there we go. All right, well, as I was saying, could be a little dry tomorrow, but hopefully we'll find some cool stuff. And hopefully with any luck, we will uh, see some very, very cool new species, but until then, if you'd like to help support production of educational materials, videos, uh, please consider joining as a patron at patreon.com slash hcarlton. Members there get exclusive benefits, including early access to all the videos. Uh, we can also take one-time donations and such at coffee.com slash carlton carnivores. That link will be in the video description as well along with the link to carltoncarnivores.com where you can buy plants, um, sometimes baby snakes if they're available, resin gem jewelry that I make from the shed snake skins. All of these ways help to support the channel, but if you can't support financially, you can access the website to see more educational stuff so at the blog and the uh, database. And as always, if you want to see more little photos and tidbits and such, you can always find me online at uh, social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, at Carlton Carnivores. But until next time, we're going to stop real quick, it looks like, for one more baby rattlesnake. And then this will be... That's Carlton Carnivores for you. Alright, sir. The road is not the best place for you. Come on. Yep, get you across the road away from the neighborhood over there. It is much safer over here for you. Yes. There you go.